The Witch of Greed, better known as Echidna, one of the main characters in the fourth arc of ReZero, and one of the most intriguing ones to boot. Today, we'll be presenting you with a detailed analysis of Echidna from ReZero. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin. Echidna is presented to us as an anti-villain in ReZero, as well as in its anime and manga adaptations. She's known as the Witch of Greed because she absorbed the Greed Witch Factor, which gave her access to the power of the Authority of Greed. That allowed Echidna to join the Witches of Sin, a group of seven other women and one man who possessed a Witch Factor. In her case, Echidna had a very well-known thirst for knowledge. However, she and five of the other witches died and were devoured by Satella, the Witch of Envy and the most powerful of the sins. Since she was the last of the witches to die, Echidna managed to somehow live on by manifesting her soul in a dreamlike realm of her creation. Here, she could commune with the living who had entered her tomb and managed to siphon the souls of the five other devoured witches so these could manifest in her realm. Echidna was very curious towards the unknown and in life in general. She was known as a source of great wisdom. Her counsel was sought out by many great men too. Her main goals were to achieve immortality and to learn the secret of return by death, on top of accumulating as much knowledge as she could. In both manga and anime, Echidna's spirit is 19 years old, despite her body appearing as if she was in her mid-twenties. She wore a long black dress and had snow-white hair, on top of barely exposed skin that was also porcelain-like and pure white. It was so white that any semblance of color had seemingly bleached from her existence. It's said that her black eyes are the only part of Echidna that looked alive, shining with intellect, and more so with the thirst for knowledge that she desired so much. She looks similar to a maid with her main outfit. What best defined Echidna's behavior were her curiosity and her thirst for more and more knowledge, though she referred to it as love. She's interested by Subaru's return by death, and she's also interested to the point that she wanted to become his advisor to have the chance of recording the many possibilities created from his ability. Echidna is a black-hearted witch with no empathy. She can even be considered a sociopath, but to me and a few others, we consider her contender for best girl, as she has no remorse for her actions. She has no qualms with manipulating, lying, deceiving, or threatening others to gain more knowledge. Though she's only openly hostile towards Satella, Amelia, and one other person, some might consider Echidna to be polite, understanding, and slightly charming. On top of being able to talk about Return by Death with her, Subaru also seemed to enjoy interacting with Echidna during the series. However, her behavior is heavily influenced by her lack of empathy. She says whatever she needs to gain someone's trust without really feeling anything. She ends up looking kind and quirky because, excluding the moments where she's talking about her greed and curiosity, nearly every emotion she shows is fake. Subaru finally understands Echidna is just a sociopathic witch who cares for nothing but knowledge and is incapable of feeling empathy for others, especially considering that the other witches show up and warn Subaru to ask Echidna what she wants in return for their contract. Echidna then confirms that all she wants for Subaru is using him to experiment the infinite timelines that can be created with Return by Death, with their contract having no purpose but to use each other with no concern of how much Subaru's mind can break from Echidna making him die countless times. Ironically enough, the author said on later Q&As that while she does have trouble manifesting her emotions, she's not absolutely emotionless, maintaining some elements of her quirky and kind personality even when she is not around Subaru. Royals of every country sought her for her deep counsel and wisdom. Among her powers and abilities, she's a witch able to utilize all six elements, and being also quite skilled in all of them. Echidna is able to use the authority of greed, being the witch of greed herself. She's noted to be one of the three characters with the greatest magical potential in the series, though Roswell is mentioned to be around her level, with her capability of using all forms of magic in the world. She's associated with butterflies, same as her daughter Beatrice. Besides her iconic butterfly hairpin, the third anime opening shows her releasing butterflies from her hands. She's akin to a mad scientist, being completely on board with performing inhuman experiments just to gain more knowledge, 
in the same way a greedy person will do whatever they can and hurt whoever they should to get their hands on what they want. She uses the fact that Subaru can only talk about return by death and her dimension to make him want to confide in her and seek her help when he's forced to face too many obstacles at once. She also deliberately only tells Subaru what's convenient for her so she can persuade him to make a contract with her. She gets excited really easily when talking, going off on tangents easily and finding it really hard to stop talking once she started. While she really outright lies, she tends to withhold information or bends the truth to suit her needs, kind of like all of us do occasionally. Echidna's backstory is also very intriguing. A long time ago, she was worried about everything. She thought of everything around her as children that needed to be protected, showing some kind of twisted maternal love to the universe. She also came to the conclusion that it was easy to control a world where things broke apart with the swing of a hand, but decided to put her efforts into protecting things instead. No matter what she tried, she was unable to do anything by herself. She felt powerless and inexperienced, though she still wouldn't give up, knowing that she could reach her goal if she surrounded herself with more people with common interests. During the witch's era, she served as a tutor for Roswell and even saved his life by fixing his defective gate. Her relationship with Roswell is probably her most interesting and deep one. Years before the Great Calamity, Echidna encountered a young Roswell who was unable to utilize his insane magical talent and potential and was being treated as a sickly nuisance by everyone who encountered him back then. Magic was a very misunderstood thing, and majors weren't as renowned as they are in the present era. Echidna sensed his ability with magic and taught him how to use it properly. With her most important teaching towards him being that his body was a gift and not a danger, as a result, Roswell harbored intense and deep feelings for her, which were sadly very one-sided, as Echidna is unable to comprehend human emotions. Despite that, she still became the most important person to him, as even after her death, Roswell became obsessed with reviving her, even being prepared to give his life in order to achieve his desired future, and cross paths with Echidna once more. While really seen without a smile on her face, and even looking a bit goofy with that expression. Her friendliness is just a facade to get what she wants. So, what are your thoughts on the very much intriguing witch Echidna? Is she one of your favorite characters from ReZero? Let us know in the comments below with a waifu war, because I know Echidna is one of my favorites. Despite the unknown Rim, and the lack of empathy, Echidna, and also the Witch of Envy Satella, there's a lot of best girls this series. So, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more anime videos, countdowns, and analysis like today. I've been broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time.